Hello dear friends, welcome back. Today we will learn one of the most beautiful flowers in Tassie. Let's go and learn Shahar Pasi flower. In this artwork, you can see Shahabasi flower and we will learn them. Like always, we will need a surrounding circle and then uh, we divide it into two parts vertically and three parts horizontally, like so. And then uh, one third of this part will be my center, the center of this flower. And uh, if I divide one side of my horizontal part into two parts, I will put my pomegranate shape petal here. This flower is symmetric, so it is very important to sketch both sides at the same shape and size. Then I will put my petals and the shape of these petals and distance between them are very important. So be careful to make petals with the same distance with each other. And I will repeat it on the other side. I can do it with transparent paper. Bear with me, I will show it to you. Now I will put some smaller roundish petals between them. And my flower is almost finished. I can add some details inside this pomegranate shape petal. Because this flower is very important, I will show some other samples here. This is another flower. I will zoom so you can see it better. And now I will go to sketch it. All of the rules, my center, and the pomegranate shape petal. It can be different. It can be in this shape. You know about the petals and if you don't, you can go and watch the other video about them. Now I will put other petals. It is very important while sketching to go with minimum pressure of your pencil. So you will correct them and you can add some details. I'm putting some details on the petals here. You can see these flowers on carpets and passive artworks and lots of Islamic traditional arts. Then I will put my smaller petals. You can bring a piece of paper and a pencil and sketch them with me and see if you can do it or not.
this can be a challenge for you today then I will add some details inside the pomegranate shape petal I can add some more details if I have space inside the other petals as well and I can color them with another color This is another example for you. We can change the shape of petals a little bit in this flower. In this way, I can change it. And I can put two big petals here. A smaller one next to it. And a smaller one next to it. This way. And then I can put our smaller petals between them the distance between these petals is very important this is another beautiful shabasi flower i can add some more details and adorn it by adding them And this is the last example. You can have it on a sepal in this way. All of the rules apply to this one. And you can put the petals and smaller petals. Instead of the center and smaller petals, we had sepal here. Now I want to show you how to um, sketch one side of this flower and then copy it to the other side using transparent paper and a burnisher. After sketching it and making sure that the shape is good and it is final shape I can put my transparent paper here and then stick it using tape and then I will trace it using my pencil be careful when you are tracing because you need to focus on symmetry. And now I will just put it on the other side and I will use my agate burnisher. Before doing so, I need to fix it, so I will be sure it will not move while I am burnishing it. It is fixed. Now I will burnish it in this way. I will check it and see if everything is fine. I can remove the paper. Please
please subscribe if you are interested in this sort of videos i'm making more for you and this is the final shape hope to see you soon